How do you deal with the fast flowing espresso or a slow dripping espresso? This is the most common question I get asked as a barista by many people making their espresso using the home espresso machine as home baristas or commercial coffee machine as professional baristas. This is a challenge that you can't overlook when you're making your espresso if you come across. And if it's not fixed, it will lead to a bad tasting shot of espresso which is bitter, sour or salty with a high acidity or with no flavor which won't be perfect for making other coffee drinks so you're going to need to fix your espresso so that you can be able to make a perfect cup of coffee in the process of making espresso hot water with a nine bar pressure from the espresso machine go through a compacted coffee bed so that it can result into an espresso so any inconsistency with the coffee bed this is going to result into a fast flowing espresso or a slow dripping espresso so in this video i'd like you to join me as i share with you three major causes of this under over extracted shot of espresso that i've personally experienced working as a barista and how you can easily fix them a fast flowing espresso is termed as an under extracted shot of espresso and a slow dripping espresso is termed as an over extracted shot of espresso starting with the first one it's a coffee grain size this is a process where we grind coffee beans into smaller particles we have the fine grain size and the coarse grain size the fine grain size it means the smaller particles of the coffee grains and the coarse grain size it means the bigger particles of the coffee beans so when you come across a fast flowing espresso this means you need to choke your coffee grain size because the particles are big and they are allowing the flow of water through your coffee bed this is resulting into an under extracted shot of espresso so you're going to need to adjust your coffee grinder to a fine grain size so that you can reduce on the size of the coffee beans and also if you come across a slow dripping espresso this means the water from the espresso machine is not being able to flow through your coffee bed and this is because the particles of your coffee beans are very fine so they are preventing the flow of water through your coffee bed and this is resulting into slow dripping espresso so to fix a slow dripping espresso you're going to need to adjust your coffee grinder on a coarser grind size so that you can increase on the size of particles one key thing that you must know every time that you adjust your coffee grinder you're going to need to purge your coffee grinder you grind small amount of coffee to help you remove the already grind coffee beans in the coffee blades which are from the old coffee grind size so that you can be able to know the right adjustment before adjusting more of your coffee grinder if you've adjusted your coffee grinder and you can't still achieve the perfect extraction second key thing and this is the inconsistency in the coffee dosing one of the most important key things is the dose of the coffee. If you put too much coffee grinds into your coffee basket, this is going to result into a slow dripping espresso. And if you put less coffee grinds into your coffee basket, this is going to result into fast flowing espresso. So to fix the inconsistency in the dosing, you can check your coffee basket every coffee basket is indicated with the right amount of dose that the coffee basket can handle which will be perfect in the extraction so for our coffee basket the standard is the 20 gram coffee basket i can use the following dose while using this 20 gram basket i can use 19 grams 20 and 21 this is the right dose that this basket can be able to carry and make a perfect extraction of your espresso so after having the perfect dose of your coffee beans and also having the perfect grind size if you can still have the perfect extraction of your espresso this is going to lead us to the third cause of the under or over extracted shot of espresso if you find this video to be important give it a like so that it can be spread to other people and if you know of a friend who's having a challenge while making espresso share with him this video so that he can be able to fix his espresso and make the best shot of espresso make sure to stay until the end of this video because i'll be sharing with you some additional tips which are very important when you're making your espressos so the third key thing and this is coffee tamping and coffee distribution we have two important tools in our 
working station as baristas. It's the coffee distributor and the coffee tamper. When we are making our shot of espresso, after grinding our coffee beans with the perfect grain size and dosing our coffee beans and weighing it to ensure it's a perfect dose that we need in our pot filter, then we're going to distribute our coffee beans and tamp them. A distribution tool and the coffee tamper plays a very big role if you want to have a consistency in your flow of your espresso. If you don't use a coffee distribution tool or a coffee tamper, it's going to result into an under extraction of your espresso. When we are grinding our coffee beans, the coffee grinds from the coffee grinder dripping in one side of the pot filter so you're going to need the coffee distribution tool so that you can be able to distribute your coffee grains perfectly after distributing our coffee grains then next you're going to need to tamp your coffee so that you can compact the bed for a better extraction we tamp consistently not with too much force but consistency when you're tamping is very important this is why many coffee shops are using now the automatic coffee tampers like the Park Press Q2, which is one of the most amazing coffee tampers when it comes to keeping the consistency and when you're tamping your coffee beans. I'll link these two videos of how you can properly tamp and also operate a Park Press Q2 so that you can be able to choose which of these two coffee tampers will be perfect when you're extracting your espresso. If you still can't make the perfect shot of espresso, after adjusting your coffee grain size and having the perfect dosage while tamping and distributing your coffee, then this means you're using an old coffee beans or already pre-grinded coffee beans. A roasted coffee bean is like a fruit. If you leave it open or if you store it for a very long time, it loses the freshness and the creaminess. This is going to result into a fast flowing espresso. So you need to check the date on your coffee beans that you're using. I would also advise you to grind your coffee beans fresh and also to not store your coffee beans for a very long time. The other thing that might be resulting into an under or over extraction of your espresso is the espresso machine that you're using. On the rise of many types of espresso machines coming up on the market, there are many people using different espresso machines, especially home baristas. Many of the espresso machines that are being used by the home baristas don't have the right amount of pressure to make an espresso. So you need an espresso machine which has a number pressure, which is perfect for extracting the perfect shot of espresso. So this is what you need to keep in mind if you're to buy an espresso machine. For the time I've worked as a barista, one of the most important key Thing that you can't overlook if you want to be able to make a good shot of espresso or any other coffee drink it's a coffee grind and the coffee grind size this video here is a full guide on the different coffee grind sizes that are recommendable for the different coffee brew methods and how you can fix them this is why it will be the perfect video to watch next so that you can be able to know which grind size is meant to make the best cup of coffee using the different coffee brew method that you're using